one and two and one and two and. So I'll just show you how to practice those. So for example in bar one you play F sharp and A together and then um, open D and third finger D together. So when you're doing that what the bow has to do is play the open A um, and the, play the A in the E string and then the D in the A string. So the first thing to practice is to make sure you can do that movement with the bow nice and smoothly. And both notes, both pairs of notes need to sound clearly. So when you can do the bowing nicely, then practice playing the notes nicely in tune like this. So moving from F sharp A to the octave Ds. And when that feels good, try doing the same kind of um, thing with the next bar. So all the notes in the next bar are played on the D and the A string. So you can just practice the rhythm, which is just simply this. And the fingering on the D string is that while you play the open A string at the same time. So once you've got, um, got the hang of playing those things separately, put them together. So you can go through the piece practicing each bar um, carefully like that, working on the bowing and then putting in the fingering. So in bar 10 you've got two string crossings to make where the bow is moving from the A and the E string to the D and the A string um, to and fro. So you can just practice, um, just practice the bow movement. You can leave your first finger down on the string um, and just practice like this. Again, making sure that the pairs of notes are sounding nice and clear. Um, another tricky bar is bar 11, where you've got... Um, so again, practice the rhythm on the open strings. Then practice the left hand. Just practice putting your fingers down on the strings without the bow and just have a look, make sure you're not touching the E string. So you have to really curve the fingers and maybe play just slightly more towards the D string than you might usually do so that you don't touch the E string. And then try playing slowly, um, putting the bowing and the fingering together. So if you hear a sound like this, that means you're touching the E string, so just be careful not to touch the E string. Really arch your fingers. Put your fingers down slightly more on their tips than you, than you usually would. I prefer not to leave my fingers down when I'm doing that. I find it easier to play um, the notes clearly if I'm not leaving my fingers down. But you might uh, prefer to leave them down if you can. Um, without touching the E string then that's fine. 